going on guys? It is Lachlan here and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Crazier Craft series. Now, I start this episode down in our superhero lair because two reasons. One, I actually logged out here at the end of my last episode. And two, because we have been pranked. Now, I got a lot of tweets, and I saw the title on Vic's latest video, Pranking Lachlan. Don't really know what to expect here. Um, let's hope it's nothing crazy. So I guess let's find out what it is together. Of course, like always, guys, if you are enjoying the Crazy Craft series, be sure to let me know with a like rating down below. And I need some counter-prank ideas. I still... Well, I technically counter-pranked Rob, but... I pranked myself because in the video I was like, oh yeah, this mine, it'll only do like one or two blocks <laughs> and it blew up half his house. Um, and he didn't even fix it after, unfortunately. So let's see what we got up here. Um, I don't know which parts of the house are affected, so we're going to find out as we go along. Nothing in our bedroom. That was there before, wasn't it? Okay, okay. I think I know this. It, I think this is where the prank starts. Have uh, you seen a prank? Uh... Where did my floor go? I don't think this is a prank anymore. Vic? Why did you get rid of my floor? Okay, so, I'm not going to lie. Out of all the things that I thought were going to happen, I did not think a bunch of black candy blocks coming out of my house, getting rid of my floor. Now, I don't know if Vic did that on purpose, or if some termites got in, or what. Does it... Vic, my floor has disappeared, mate. Wait, some of these are carpenter blocks. Okay. I'm so confused right now. What prank is this? Vic, I'm trying to find your motive right now. I, I don't understand. I don't understand. There's, like, I, the only way I would know it was from Vic as well is because there was, like, a video called Pranking Lachlan on his subbox and a bunch of tweets saying Vic pranked you. But all I see is one big black candy block, like, literally black candy blocks all over my house with some carpenter blocks in between. Like, I want to, I'm, after this, I'm gonna go ahead and watch his video and I just wanna see it, okay? I just wanna see what it was like. It's like, alright, yeah, right here, I'm gonna put down a bunch of black hair. Yeah, yeah, this'll be good. Great. Like, like, Vic, I'm so. Vic, Vic, what is this? I don't understand. I. Like, I thought Rob's doll prank was pretty up there in terms of pranks that were just like. What are you doing with your life? But this is, I think this takes the cake. I'm beyond confused. Now I have to fix the house. I can only assume it was part of a structure unless he literally part by part removed pieces or he broke like a, when it goes down. And this block is like un... Maybe it was an upstairs break? Maybe, like, some of this is, like, fall-through kind of stuff? No? I'm sorry, I just... Was that my cake? I think that was my cake. That wasn't my cake. I think... I think he gave the cake, but... I just... I just... I just... I don't understand. There's ghost blocks here. But what is this? I'm so confused. Like, I guess when you think about it, Vic did an excellent job at confusing the hell out of me. Because I just don't understand. I guess the whole thing was like, it's like a black hole prank or something, where everything's meant to like freak you out because everything's black. But my floor, Vic. <laughs> my floor, my floor is rip. Wait, I'm gonna eat the black candy. What does the black candy give me? Just a bunch of speed. All right, there's too much black candy for me. And in fact, I'm sorry, I don't really care, Vic. I'm gonna have to chuck all this stuff away. But I don't know. Because like, at the same time, I'm thinking, oh wow, this must have been a, uh, like a, a block that went ahead and just deleted things, like, because that's my first initial thoughts. But, unless there was a, a separate way I was meant to come into it, like, 
I, I don't understand. I'm just shocked. Because I, I don't know how that happened. Maybe he didn't like my floor design either. And this was a cheeky way to like throw shade at it. I don't know. I'm just confused. That's all. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and try to rectify the issue here. Uh, we need some counter pranks and we need them quick. Uh, like, I just putting termites in his house count? Like, what the hell? I'm so confused. Okay, so what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to put all of these blocks away and uh, try to fix the floor. I'm going to keep the same pattern. Uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to grab the blocks that were a part of it, which was this one. And actually, I'll just go ahead and grab a sample block uh, from a piece over here. And I'm going to go ahead and duplicate these bad boys up so I can bring up like a whole stack of these downstairs and fix it. But I'm very confused still. I don't get the motive. I don't get the, oh, let's go ahead. In fact, you know what? I'm going to watch. I'm going to watch fix video because there must be more to this. I don't understand. Okay, so while I was uh, duplicating these uh, pieces out to rebuild my house, I uh, I realized what Vic was trying to achieve, and uh, he was hoping that I would log out in this area over here, and uh, because when you actually are inside these blocks, like I said, and actually it was actually really kind of good that he put that trap in there because you like you lose all sense of direction. In his words as well, you can't see where you're going. But he didn't really take into account the fact that I might actually um, be not inside my own living room. Uh, so, I mean, that honestly, I give him, it's still a prank at the end of the day because it made me just like, I, I, I had the same reaction as if I was in it, you know what I mean? Like, I was just like, what is Vic done? So I get, like, that's why he removed the floors, because obviously he'd want me to be um, you know, going down into the blocks that he's put down. So, makes sense. Uh, I get the prank totally, just unfortunately for him, I was uh, in my uh, own little superhero lair trying to save myself from all the pranks. So yeah, unfortunately for Vic, I guess he would have to say this uh, prank kind of backfired on him, but I do rate the effort value. Um, he went ahead and covered a lot of my house up. Uh, I guess he didn't see the superhero lab, but it doesn't matter. He's not, no one's meant to really see it. That's meant to like, be a private part of our house, but uh, there's no damage done at the end of the day. I still think uh, Rob's prank. Uh, I, I said at first Vix uh, maybe you know overdid Rob's prank in terms of just confusing the hell out of me, but uh, it made sense after watching. See, I watched Rob's video when he pranked me, and like it didn't make sense at all after watching it. After I watched Vix and he explained it, it kind of made sense. But now we actually need to get on our own grind on trying to get some pranks going because. I mean, we need to counter prank some peeps, man. And that does not look right. I think this is meant to be uh, that chiseled quartz as well. Kind of like that one as well. That, oh, so I should say marble. Oh, wait. Isn't this... Yeah, I think someone tried to... Yeah, this is like Pete's prank. He put that there. That was... That still kind of irritates me, that green arrow cloud. Like, I don't even know why that's there. Um, so, yeah. I guess a little bit of a tricky way to, you know, enter today's episode, I guess. A little cheeky. Uh, oh, what's that boss? Okay, it's this boss over here. Uh, can we... Okay, I just pranked myself. Good one, Lachlan. You played yourself. Cover that up, but I don't know why I haven't yet, actually. Uh, marble, can I get the chisel, please? Where is the chisel? Chisel my nizzle. Alrighty, there we go. My chisel's been there the whole time. Marble, let's chuck it in and grab out. We'll just grab all of them in this piece. That works for me. Chuck them down, and the house is back to where it was. So, I'm, I want to do a prank this episode, but I, I just can't think of anything on the spot right now. Okay, I'm really hoping the Illuminati... Oh, I have a good idea for a prank. I have a great idea for a prank, actually. Alright, so anyway, let's open up our Illuminati pet right now. Oh, Bless up. This this Illuminati knows when to prank. Wait, can we? Oh, we can duplicate them, guys. We can, we can duplicate the lamps. Oh, I just, I just had a great idea, guys. I just had a great idea. Okay, so while that one's duplicating, I'm going to go back to Rob's house. I hope he hasn't uh, done anything to them just yet. But I want to go ahead and see 
if I can uh, grab the ones off the wall. Yes, I can. All right. Oh, well, he's got a cake. Oh, I guess he put the cake there because the cake is a lion portal and all that, you know, fancy blah, 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 blah. I'm going to grab these. Uh, oh, whoops, 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 whoops. We don't want to grief Rob's colored block of quartz. No, you can do that. I'm going to grab all these fancy lanterns on the wall here and I'm going to go ahead and duplicate them all up and uh, then come back inside and, uh, you know, light up his place. Oh, looks like we're gonna get a crown here. I don't think I've got this one before. The crown of the Ice King. Wow. Actually, I don't even think we're wearing any hats this season at all. I think I've been very boring with the hats. I haven't put a single one on. Let's go ahead and put on our... Uh, this would be very fitting for what we're about to do, but I'm gonna go with the crown. Oh, that looks nasty. And by nasty, I mean wicked. All right, that looks pretty sick. I actually like how the spiral set works with the uh, the moth stuff we have on as well. Looks very cool indeed. For some reason, we are getting a little bit of more lag than normal, but gonna go ahead and chuck the rest of these fancy lamps in. And then I've got some uh, enchanted golden apples to use as some NRG and some of those as well. So 1 million total. Let's go ahead. Ooh, I got a cow head. Why did I get a cow? How and why? Did I get a cow head? Can I put it on? Now I am, now I am big, big, big cow head. Okay, Doki, so that is the last recipe that we have to go ahead and put in and done. Now the Illuminati pet did come off cooldown while we were doing that. So let's go ahead and hit that up for a pair of lead boots. Knockback resistance, but minus speed. Don't really know if I can mess with that. Not my, not my definitely favorite thing to do. I don't like walking slower. That's not cool. But anyway, moving along, let's get uh, back down to our lamp prank. So we're going to grab a bunch of fancy lanterns. We just want to grab a bunch, like 10 of each or something, uh, of all the iterations that we have. So we have the fancy lamps and lanterns. Because like I said, we just want to light little Robbie's house up like the 4th of July. And he's Canadian, so I don't even think he celebrates that. And I don't either because I'm Australian, but I got it from a card game, all right? Leave me alone. Okay, there we go. We used about a quarter million of energy to go ahead and uh, chuck into Rob's room. Now, I'm not sure if I want to do it just exclusively downstairs or upstairs because I don't know. As far as I know, he doesn't use this as much as he uses the upstairs. And I don't even know how to get upstairs from here. Like, there's just a bunch of warning signs. Like, is this a... No, where's this elevator? Surely he has an elevator in here somewhere. What are these? Ender Flux Crystals. Ugh. Wow, you can even see that the landmine actually got some of the quartz on the roof up here. That's crazy, dude. Okay, so because I don't really want to break anything in Rob's house, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, try to reach it legitimately by flying. It really isn't that far when you think about it, so I should probably do this more often. But we have found it to Rob's place, and we're going to go ahead and uh, light it up a little bit. Now, I'm going to go back home if I need to grab some more lanterns, which I probably will need to do. I am just going to start chucking these everywhere. Like, it is just going to be a prank. Oh, you can hang them from the roof? That's so meta. Holy crap. All right, I'm going to do that a couple times here. What about these? Oh, that looks sick. These look so much better when they're hung from the roof. I think Rob's going to take a couple as inspiration. Uh, now, where was his upstairs and where does it start? Because this is obviously... Yeah, he, oh, okay, I didn't. I actually didn't put the burnt quartz back there. So I'm going to go ahead and, and, and patch that up with some lamps. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and put that there. Uh, how do I get to his upstairs? It was like over here or something. Yeah, over here. Okay, okay. Oh, wow. Actually, I think we should have enough to go around here. Let's put a couple on the roof. That won't melt the snow, will it? No, it won't. Okay, good. Because there's torches on the wall. Okay, good, good, good. I was scared that it, for one reason, might melt the snow. Because obviously all that, you know how it works. Why do we have a, a lot of lamps here? Uh, why can't I open the door? Alright, well, if I can't open the door, I'm just going to place more lamps. Come on, let me open the door. Alright, there we go. Uh, so in this nuclear room, we're going to go ahead and leave a couple decorations around. Obviously, when the nukes go off, you got to have a uh, couple lamps to see what you're doing. I mean, you don't want to press the wrong button while you're making nukes. That would be silly. Chuck a couple on the floor just for inconvenience sake, of course. And uh, a couple in the chest so we can't open them, maybe. Deco bench, because you want to see what you're crafting at the end of the day. And just a bunch more. Oh, some of these aren't placing, though. I, for some reason, I am having a little bit of lag issues, which is kind of annoying. See, Rob's like a very OCD kind of guy. And like these just random lamps everywhere 
I can tell is pissing him off. I actually might put some downstairs as well. Because like, they're just so random. Like, if they made sense, it wouldn't be a prank. Oh, what did we get there? Uh, I have it to sell. Eh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Um, but let's keep let's keep up the grind here. Let's keep chucking more down. All right, so I think that just about does it for annoying lanterns in Robert Wuffles' house. Uh, I kind of... Did anybody just see that? It was like, scary. Alrighty, there we go, completely out of lights. And of course, like always, you need to make sure to, oh wow, these somehow, what, there it is again. Oh, I think that was it, main floor, I think that was it. Yeah, that's literally it. Oh, I think you can use that to, oh, I think you use that to, oh, scary outside. Wait, can I go there? Okay, interesting. Well, now your inside is scary too, Rob. Well, not really. No, no mobs will spawn here. It's too lit. Okay, so I'm just gonna borrow some of your wood here, Rob, for a little bit of a sign, if that's okay. Now, I would make a fancy sign, but I don't know. It's it's Rob's house after all. Like, it, he 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 doesn't need the fancy stuff. And let's go ahead. So I'm imagining he'll probably come from upstairs to downstairs, most probably. So let's go ahead and make a sign right here, and just be like. Hey Rob, thought your house could use... Okay, I have no idea why, but this server is lagging phenomenal amounts right now. Hey Rob, thought your house could use some lit lamps. No bridge included. Alright, so here we go. Hey Rob, thought your house could use some lit lamps. No bridges, sad face. Because he has a lit bridge in his apartment in Canada, which we all visited before ski trip. So I'm going to go, yeah, I think that works. There we go. And, uh, <laughs> oh, that looks really cool. I like it. It's so colorful. I should have got some more. I am just absolutely mind blown. You can chuck these on roofs and they, you get two for the price of one. That like you can chuck one here and you get one lamp. Or you can put them like that and you get two. It's literally like buy one get one free anyways back home to the land down under and illumina wow the cake is it like portal's birthday or something that there's a cake in front of all of them or something that's so weird uh okay and i just realized i fudged up because yeah we did the portals the wrong way around dang it i don't know if this portal thing's an update or if it's like portal's birthday or the portal mod's birthday but I guess there's now cake with every portal gun. Alrighty, well, back into the gloomy Illuminati headquarters with a... Okay, we're gonna need some... So we need some lit things in our own house, man. We're getting some baddies spawning here. Um, I feel like I should go upstairs. I need something right in the middle here, like a, a glowstone center or something. For some reason, the light is just not getting all the way into the middle, I feel like. So... I'm just going to chuck this torch on the floor in the middle of the house. It has to be done. I don't know. It's just... I, I don't... I, no. I know what to do. Let's go with this one. I mean, honestly, these things, they're too lit and they look sick. I'm going to go ahead and use one of them up here. Dude, this lag is unreal. One, two, there we go. Nice and fancy. And it even has fancy in the name. So when people say, you fancy, huh? I'd be like, yeah. I guess I am. Alrighty, guys. Well, that is going to do for today's episode of a Crazy Craft. I hope you guys did go on to enjoy it. If you guys did, be sure to leave a like rating down below. We'll catch you guys next time. Later, guys.